Hello, ghost hunters. These dots are a bit disturbing. Dots got a bit of an overhaul with the Ascension update. I made a video covering this before the update was released, but now that I've gotten my grubby little ghost hunting hands on the actual dots, I have some thoughts on this change and this item. Let's start with the tier 1 dots. This item was touted as being similar to a flashlight, but if you're using this as a flashlight, you might as well be playing in total darkness. While it does provide some light, it is very dim. Using this item to find the ghost room is not advised. The tier 1 dots is a handheld laser pin with a narrow spotlight and a range of 5 meters. It is placeable, although getting dots evidence this way is quite difficult. It is an electronic, so it should not be left on when not in use or held when the ghost is hunting. The tier 2 dots looks like the familiar dots projector that we are used to. It provides area light, which can be useful in many hunts, especially if players are playing on a map with a broken breaker. The range is 2.5 meters in a circle around the projector, and thus provides the same distance but a wider spread than the Tier 1 handheld. It is placeable on most surfaces and is an electronic. However, you can hold this item in your hands as it is not considered on when not placed and providing light. What you may or may not know is that if you click on the placed dots, it will turn the projector off. The Tier 3 dots is quite a bit larger than the other dots projectors. On top of this, it's noisier than the other projectors. It provides a wide spotlight that rotates scanning a large area projected 7 meters out. It is placeable on most surfaces, and it is an electronic. Just like the Tier 2 dots, this item can be turned off while still placed and can be held during hunts. So which of these three is best? Before we decide that, let's talk about how it's changed with the Ascension update. Previously, the ghost interacted with the dots which showed a figure of the ghost walking through the dots. Now when you see the dots ghost, it is the actual ghost walking through the array of lights. In previous versions, players could take photos of this evidence, however, if you take a photo of the ghost walking through the dots now, it counts as an actual ghost photo. This may make getting a photo of your ghost, if that's one of your objectives, much easier. Also, ghost photos are the most valuable photo you can take in your hunts. So, if you have a dots ghost, getting a photo of it in the dots is highly recommended. Ghosts with dots as evidence will now enter a dots phase, where they will be visible with infrared light, or in other words, the dots projector. Ghosts will walk towards players who are in the same room during this phase, so it is highly recommended that players stand inside the dots to get this as evidence. If you are having issues seeing the dots evidence, it may be easier to see this with the lights off. If you are still having issues, using a camera with night vision turned on may help. If you've already unlocked night vision goggles, this may be a good way to spot the evidence as well. Remember, if your ghost happens to be a Goryeo, this evidence can only be seen through a video camera. While the Goryeo may walk through the dots when players are nearby, they are much more likely to do so when players are not near. As seen here, this is visible on all the dots, but it may be easier to spot with some different tiers of equipment. Okay, so now on to which one is best. Admittedly, I had high hopes for the Tier 1 dots, and if you've been using this tool, you probably know why those hopes are now dashed. While this item does work, it is a pain in the… well, I can't say that word on YouTube, but you know where I mean. To get this as evidence, it takes a long time and a lot of patience, and the chance of your sanity dropping to the point of hunting while waiting… well, I hope you like face hugs. This was my least loved of the dots, and I recommend upgrading the moment you can. As for the Tier 2 dots, it's very similar to the previous dots. Being able to turn it on and off by clicking on it while placed is great for those players who want to determine if their ghost is a Reiju or when the item is no longer needed. It does provide a quiet hum, so some players may wish to turn it off when they've eliminated or confirmed the dots' evidence. I also find the Tier 2 dots to be very versatile and great for providing light in dark locations when you don't have access to overhead lights or working flashlights. 
the Tier 3 dots covers a large area, which may be great for those bigger maps like prison and high school, but in my opinion, the scanning of the dots makes it less useful and more annoying. And why is it so loud? This item isn't great for lighting, mostly because of the scanning ability. It would be great if this item required two clicks to turn it off, one to freeze it in place, and one to turn it off entirely, but I find this item to be less functional and more annoying than the Tier 2. So if you're wanting to skip one of your upgrades, this is probably the one to pass on. Tier 2 works great and provides the light, the quieter hum, and works just as effectively and in some cases, more effectively than its higher-tiered counterparts. If you are determined to use that Tier 3 dots, though, just keep in mind in smaller locations, it might be easier to get the dots evidence if you put it somewhere further away from the area where you're expecting to get the dots evidence. Have you tried all three tiers of the dots projector? Which was your favorite? Did I miss any tips or tricks with the dots? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and as always, happy hunting.